Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Electronics on Wheel. As usual, I got one comment from the wandering views that please explain the bundle dia calculation, band radius, wire size calculation. So bundle dia calculation, this topic I am going to take today. Band, band radius and wire calculation, we will take this particular topic in the coming videos. Apart from this, I got one comment from the Siva as well that sir, can you share the presentation to download and similar kind of issue which uh, one of our subscriber has given that uh, uh, sir thanks for the considering my comment and i would like to take mock up interview with you uh, can you help with the call so uh, to be honest i cannot help with the call but i have something to address all these two points through the telegram channel so i will i'm going to share the telegram link in the comment box you can join that particular telegram link i will i'm going to share some of the document which will help you to understand the automobile engineering and the wiring harness as well coming to this particular point you can ask there that question which are whichever you want and i will try to address those and i am going to uh, put some of the jobs as well outside India and inside the India as well so that it will help you to grow in your profession as well. So moving to the our topic, today's topic that is calculate the diameter of cable. So calculate the approximate diameter of multi-strand cable. So first we will understand what are the type of cable we have. So some, suppose one type of cable we have the single strand and some of the cables we have the multi-strand what does it mean single strand means single wire would be there and multi-strand would be there would be multi-strand would be there so most of the time in uh, bundle you will get this type of situation where you will be having multiple strands in particular uh, bundle so we will see both the cases sometimes you might go uh, get uh, come across this particular type of situation where you have the you know grounding that single strand is only there so if we have understood for single strand you can do for the multi strand as well so first we will see the theory and then we will go to the practical example of that so first we understand the area of the single strand then we will calculate the diameter of that particular whole uh, bundle so these are the strands so suppose here if i ask you how many strands are there so there, there are five strands are there and we have to find out this particular area uh, diameter of that particular bundle so first we will understand the area of single strand this is nothing but as usual we used to do in our academics pi d square upon 4 to get the area of single strand so where you can see s is, small s is the area of single strand and d is the diameter of single strand you can calculate this particular area of single strand by this syntax now coming to the suppose you have the multiple strand then how you are going to calculate so suppose area of the uh, approximate area of this particular uh, you know bundle so you have to multiply how many strands are there so n into s suppose i have the five strand then five into the s which you have calculated for the single strand so this is the value which will come for the uh, approximate area for the uh, defined number of strands n is the number of strand s capital s is the area of defined number of strands now moving to the diameter of that particular bundle how we are going to get so suppose single strand is there and then capital d is equal to square root 4 into s upon pi so s is nothing but which we have calculated s is the area of that particular strand and d is the diameter of the defined number of strands but suppose you have the particular uh, you know bundle is having number of strands and it is having all strands are having the different area of then what you have to do you have to calculate s1 s2 s3 sn as we have seen in the uh, last uh, last slide we have seen that how to calculate the s1 s2 for that particular area so you have to take s1 s2 and sn then if you want that bundle of having the different wire size then what would be the diameter of this square root for s1 plus s2 plus and so on sn then divided by pi we will see one practical example of this how we are going to calculate this so let's assume one particular multi strand cable we have where we have the 41 strands and 0.2 mm is the wire uh, size of that particular strand uh, diameter then what will be do what we will do then we will uh, we are going to calculate the area of that particular strand that is pi d square upon 4 so pi nothing but 3.14 0.2 0.2 uh, divided by 4 so this is this is this game is the single strand area this one then coming to the defined number of strands suppose you have the 41 strands here so what you have to do 
approximate of 41 strands what would be there 41 cross what whatever came what area came for the single strand that you have to multiply 0 0.00314 then it will come the approximate area of the 41 strand now coming to the diameter of that particular uh, bundle so d is nothing but the square root of uh, 4 into s and 4 s is nothing but the value of this so uh, square root 4 into 1.2874 divided by 3.14 if you will do this calculation it will come square root 1.64 and it will come around 1.2806 so approximately 1.3 mm is the diameter of that particular bundle but if you ask me as a uh, that whether this would be the correct value so my answer would be no that there would be some multiplication factor after this also but the basic concept would be remain same so most of the OEM has their uh, calculator to calculate this bundle diameter and you, you have no need to go in that particular detail but you should understand that concept how they are calculating. So this is the formula which is used by all the OEMs uh, to calculate the bundle diameter. After that they put the multiplication factor which is coming for the corrugated tube and other factors also come. If you want the advanced video for this that I, I can make that one also but as of now you understand this basic concept how to calculate the di uh, bundle diameter i will i'm going to share that excel sheet as well by the way uh, the oems used to calculate the bundle diameter so thanks for watching thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe on this channel thank you